227 is a personal finance app from Old Mutual. Do you know how the 227 app works? With us is Jiku Joseph, the MD of 227. Welcome, Jiku. I'm very excited to have you here. Thanks for having me, Mishvika. It's really great to be here. Jiku, what exactly is the 227 app and what are its core functions? The 227 app, uh, Mushvika, is a personal finance app um, that's been designed to help South Africans track how they're spending their money um, with the primary intention of helping them make better decisions with their money going forward. A great analogy is um, if you've ever used Google Maps on your phone, uh, think of 227 like Google Maps for your money. Um, what we do is we basically show you where you are today. So when you open up Google Maps, you'll, it will show you on the, on the app exactly where you are relative to everything around you. That's a great analogy to make with regards to money. Yeah. So you'll know at any given time what your financial situation is? Yes, well, that, that's, uh, you know, it's so important for you to know where you are today in order to help you make the right decisions going forward. So what the 227 app does is once you've linked your primary spending and income accounts, it shows you where all your money is going. So by different categories of spend. And what you can do is you can set yourself specific targets um, that allow you to redirect that money into the areas where you want them to go. Just like Google Maps. You set a destination and you get turn-by-turn -turn instructions in order to help you get there. That's very exciting. According to the old mutual savings and investment monitor, people are cutting back on luxuries and necessities. Mm. How does the 227 app assist with tracking those expenses? So one of the things that uh, most people get a shock uh, when they use the app for the first time and they have uh, all their expenses categorized is how much they're actually spending on the things that they thought they were spending uh, on. So for example, you know, you may think you're spending a couple of hundred rand on, on eating out, but it turns out you're actually spending a thousand, thousand five hundred rand, or whatever it may but be. But don't you find that that comes from people dealing with money in their head? Exactly, exactly. We we are human beings are very prone to this uh, under or over exaggeration of various metrics. Um, and uh, the beauty of the twenty two seven app is it tells you things as they are, uh, and not it, as you wish them to be. Exactly, but it helps you get. To where you wish them to be because yes. again you need to start with where you are today in order to help you get to where you want to be so your financial goals will probably be easier reached with the assistance of this app yeah so we've just launched a feature on 227 called goals um, and the idea is to start with where the customer is at you know what are the customers needs you know what is the south africans needs um, and as you start to save money by making the right money decisions you free up some money to start saving for your goals. Um, and uh, we launched in June, and we've already started to see a lot of 227 users starting to save for their life goals. That's fantastic. Yeah. But according to the, uh, the monitor also, the research, all income categories would struggle to cope with the financial emergency. Mm. How would the 24-7 app assist in planning towards that? So, uh, the you know the thing that shocked me was that uh, I think in the in the savings and investment monitor it mentioned that close to forty percent of people who earn between fifteen and twenty thousand rand won't be able to meet a financial emergency of ten thousand rand. Um, yes. And when we think about saving for emergencies, what you need to do is you need to set yourself a little pot or a little fund that has about three to six months of income to deal with any of these kinds of emergencies. So the twenty two seven app today allows you to set a goal specifically for emergency savings, set yourself a target in terms of how much you want to save for emergencies and help you track progress towards saving for that goal. You can open it up without any paperwork, without speaking to a human being. It's low cost um, and it's very easy to top up and track and access your money when you need it. Um, so I think the key thing is, first of all, seeing where your money is going. Second of all, s creating spare money that you can invest setting up a goal, which all of which 227 helps you do, mm -hmm. and top it up in order to get to that magic number, which is three to six months, or at minimum 10,000 Rand, you know, which was the, 
uh, the shocking, the shocking stat that came out of the old mutual savings and so investment monitor. So what we're also seeing is that the 22.7 app can definitely assist with creating a better savings culture within South Africa, which is currently very, very low and is what we are trying to push up all the time. Mm. Savings on the app is one thing. Mm -hmm. Is there anything from the statistics and the research that shows us what app users are spending their money on? Mm. So I think uh, it's, it's as you, you would expect, you know, um, based on what we can see in the, in the, in the broader South African context, you know, uh, we, we help customers categorize their money. So we have all these different categories of spend. And if you rank the categories of spend from highest to lowest, the top five categories, excluding home loans and rental, yeah. are consumption, ex consumption. Uh, you know, consumption categories. So groceries, eating out, entertainment, transport and fuel, and cell phone expenses are your top five. And, and this app will help you keep track of those expenses. Exactly. So because it automatically categorizes, we've got this very smart engine that as soon as you link your, your primary bank account and your primary spending accounts, if they're credit cards, so I've got a NetBank account and I use a, a Woolworths credit card. If you link your primary income and account, your primary spending account together, you can actually see how that money within those two accounts is going to these different categories because we automatically categorize the spend for you. Then you can start to address, am I spending too much on groceries? Am I spending too much on eating out? And set yourself a target, a realistic target, yes. that you can help yourself achieve. Because one of the problems with um, setting a budget from, uh, from scratch without having this information is you, set, you, you can set yourself an unrealistic target, which you can't really get to. You know, if you're really spending 2,000 Rand on eating out, as an example, and you want to set yourself a target of 500 Rand, that's way off. But if you start to break that target down into a number closer to where you are, you can slowly but surely get to that objective. And that's often where people get disheartened mm. by the setting up of budgets mm. um, because they don't do realistic budgets. With the result, you don't have your ends meet at the end of the month and say, well, the budget doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. But it really does go to the heart of setting up a budget which is realistic and true. Mm. So the 20, uh, the twenty two seven app, mm -hmm. in terms of budgeting functionality and goal functionality, mm -hmm. how do they connect? So, you know, to, to t touch on your point there, uh, Mushvika, about budgeting being uh, difficult. Budgeting is difficult for two reasons, right? One, it can be disheartening uh, because it's unrealistic. The second thing is it's tedious. You know, we, it's like taking uh, your vitamins or going to gym. We all know budgeting is good for you. Uh, we want, we don't, but we don't want to budget, you know. Yeah. We know we need to, but we don't want to. So the, the beauty of 22.7 is it takes the tediousness out of, of budgeting. What you do is you link an account once. Uh, you link an account through a very secure, it's a very secure system. Uh, I think that's one of the uh, things that us, our, our viewers need to yes. know is that it's a very secure system. You link your account once, and once your account is linked, um, every month you once you log into 22.7, we automatically pull your data, we automatically categorize your data, and we show you where your money is going, right? If you do it manually, it requires you to go into the bank, download the required documents, bring them into, if you're using Excel, if you're using paper, start to work out the calculations manually. So for two reasons, one, it may be disheartening because it's very unre unrealistic, but for the second one, which is the most common reason, it's just not something I have time to do. It's just not something that I really want so to do. So the app does it for you? It takes all the tediousness out of that. So from a budgeting point of view, it really does simplify the budgeting uh, process. And it's free, you know. So there's, there's very little reason for South Africans not to be using and an app like And how do South Africans access this app? So you can find it three ways. Um, if you're an Android user, you can find it on the Android Play Store. If you're an iOS user, you can find it on the App Store. And if you don't have a, a cell phone, you can also access it on the web via your desktop at www.227.com. That's the number 22 and the word 7.com. Something that also in, was of great interest to me was the fact that there's no money linked to this app. It's data. Yes. It's information. Yes. So one does not have to be scared that somebody's going to get hold of your cell phone, go into this app, withdraw your money from an account. It's information which is being collated and shared. Am I right? 
Hundred percent. You know, I think that's the important thing for all the users of twenty two seven to be aware of. Right, is that when you s add your banking credentials to the app, all we are collecting is information. Nobody, not even you, can make a transaction on your bank account within twenty two seven. I think over and above that is important for users to understand that we use the same level of encryption that your bank does, so your data is encrypted. We are insured, so that if anyone ever had to hack 227, God forbid, it wouldn't happen, you would be insured against any loss of funds as a result of your accounts being linked to 227. So I think with that, it should give customers assurance that your data, your bank accounts are safe, and all you're doing is you're getting more information that helps you make the right money decisions on an ongoing basis. Thank you so much, Chico. I'm very, very excited to finally have an app that does my budgeting for me. Oh, thank you so much for allowing us to be here. We really want to share the story with South Africans so we can help them do more.